Hi, my name is Dan McGinley from Tootenauer, USA. I'm the National Sales Manager for Medical and Vet, and I'm here to talk to you about biological as well as chemical indicators and how we monitor our sterilization cycle. We've launched the 20 minute and also one hour biological indicators. Okay? They are the only indicator that's used for gravity and pre and post back. So therefore there's no guesswork by your practice. You'll know exactly what they need to do. As far as how to use them, they should be used on a cycle by cycle basis. In other words, every cycle that they run they should have a biological indicator in there. The reason being is how do we know our sterilizer is working from one cycle to the next? The only way we can ensure that is by using a biological indicator. What it is, it's actually bacteria in an ampule. And we put it in the autoclave in the lower right hand portion of the autoclave, which is the hardest part to sterilize. Okay? We know if we kill the bacteria in here, that all the bacteria in your instruments have been eliminated. Okay? After it comes out of your sterilizer, you're going to close the top. You're going to then crack the ampule. And I go through it three times. After I crack the ampule, I'm going to then just mix the solution four or five times and put it in my biological uh, incubator. Okay? As you can see, we have a smaller incubator for physician offices and dental practices, as well as larger ones for ambulatory surgical centers and hospitals. The great part about these are they're programmable as far as their times, and for documentation purposes, which is extremely important as far as Amy guidelines, they also print that, it, that the biological indicator either passed or failed. Okay? We are the only company that offers that. Other companies, they have to have separate indicators as well as no documentation. As far as ambulatory surgical centers, they also, because of Amy guidelines, STA, have to do challenge packs. Challenge packs are to mimic an actual sterilization pack. Okay? We put the biological indicator and the chemical integrator inside, and we do this once a day, and that's to make sure that we're penetrating packs appropriately and that we're sterilizing uh, or we're killing bacteria and also achieving the temperature and exposure time. Extremely important. As far as packs themselves, we have chemical indi indicators. These chemical indicators, all they tell us is that the pack has been penetrated with steam. Okay? It's very important so this way we know that the instruments did come in contact with steam and that the pack was penetrated appropriately. We also have chemical indicator tape. The chemical indicators go inside the pack, the tape goes on the outside. Outside, we've, we've, we've been hit with steam. With the chemical indicators, it tells you the inside has, has been also uh, exposed to steam. So common questions to ask any practice that you go into, whether it be to in-service an autoclave, or if they have you to kind of come in and consult with them as far as sterilization is number one, uh, that they know what the AMI guidelines are. Number two, look at the flow of the instruments from dirty to clean. Uh, number three, are they using biological and chemical indicators? And number four, how often are they testing those biological indicators? That will give you an indication um, right away if they're, they're following Amy guidelines and if they're, they're following the process from start to finish. The biggest glaring weakness that I see, and this is in the dental market, is that they have a mail-in program. That mail-in program is insufficient as far as the guidelines go. And number two, it doesn't really make sense. How do I test for, for bacteria on one day, send it out to someone, wait five or six days for the results, and then if I get a positive result for bacteria, I've now spent six days sterilizing instruments and, and have to go back and notify the patients. Um, it compromises patient care and also puts the practice at, at a huge risk. So therefore, any biological indicator that you see out in the field, it should be done in-house. 
As you can see, we have every product that you're going to need for your infection control only from Tutenauer.